Hey guys, what's up? So I recorded this video um, yesterday and just letting you guys know, I was pretty stuttery, shaking. Um, this doesn't happen every day, especially in California. So hope you guys enjoy. And uh, yeah, let's just get right into it. And just letting you guys know before this video starts, I talked about how I might have talked about how this guy who deposited the half dollars, that was all he deposited. Well, I found out today that wasn't actually the case. I went back there today and I asked the guy, are you sure he didn't deposit anything else? Because I just found it kind of weird the guy only deposited half dollars. And I found out he also deposited $60 in quarters. And I missed out on those because he gave those quarters to a coffee shop next door. Apparently that coffee shop guy came back to the Union Bank today, or the bank I went to, and he asked if that guy deposited anything else. So I missed out on a little bit. I'm still happy I got $100 and almost 90% silver. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I actually gave the bank my phone number. So if there's any update, if I buy the quarters from that other guy from the coffee shop or if I get into contact with the guy who deposited the half dollars and the quarters, maybe get some big dollars or anything like that, I'll let you guys know. And uh, yeah, peace out everybody. Yo, what's going on everybody? Raging Fury 55 here, bringing you guys a brand new video. Honestly, I thought I was done with this. I thought the road trip, I talked about how I hit a really big, or I hit two really big silver scores. And I thought, yeah, that's it. I peaked there. Today, I went to my local bank, or there's three local banks where I live, around like four miles away. And I went there and two banks didn't have anything. Like usual, the, the banks usually at my place don't have any half dollars. And if they do, they're usually searched. If they're not searched, maybe I can get one forty percenter. And then I went to this other bank I go to, and I don't really expect anything from this bank because they usually only have like one or two half dollars and they're usually clad. And I went in there today and they told me, oh, um, someone deposited $150 in half dollars. And I was like, really? And they're like, yeah. They actually had 10 extra dollars in lose, so I bought those first. And then I went back to another bank, I got more cash, and I went to buy their other $150. And I bought them, and the guy told me, oh yeah, these look really old, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay, maybe they're old, but um, he's told me he's gone old ones in the past, and they're usually just in the 70s. And uh, I went to my car, I opened them up, and I just saw Ben Franklin staring at me and I was like, okay, I need to go back right now to that bank. They're closing in 10 minutes. So I went back, I went back to the bank and the guy who deposited a half dollars didn't deposit anything else, unfortunately. But let me just say, this is the best score I've had. This might be the one of the best scores ever on Reddit, probably top three, maybe the best one. I think I've seen one better score than this, but yeah, let me just show you guys what I'm looking at right now. All right, guys, I'm back and here it is. So I went to my car, I did some quick, um, I checked the edges real quick. And from what I'm seeing, these nine rolls are all 90%. I'm like 99% sure that these are all 90%. All the edges look super worn. I mean, I didn't even see any 64s. And then up here, these are the rolls, which also came with the batch. And I think every roll did have silver, but these rolls also have some clad in them. So we'll also go through these. But uh, yeah, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go over, or I'm gonna go through all of these on camera. I'm gonna go through these hybrid rolls first. Um, and then we'll save the best for last right here. I'm really excited guys. I got this all for face value, as I said earlier, from Union Bank. This is a bank where I always go there. They only have one or two half dollars. The bank told me this is the most amount of half dollars they've ever gone in the last 10 years. So I'm really lucky they didn't pick out any of the silver. They know I like to collect this type of stuff. So I think it just made them happy for them to give me this to make my day. 
But anyway, we're gonna go through these rolls first and then save these for last. And uh, yeah, let's get started. All right, roll number one. The ender is a 72. And I have to do this on a tripod. So it's kind of hard for me to go through these on camera, but I'll do my best. I'm not really good at using a tripod while filming. Let's see what we got here. And we're already seeing a little bit of silver. Let's just do an edge check. I'm seeing one silver here, 64, that's nice. And a shout out to Raw Finds Treasure for giving me this uh, mat. Actually really helps out. A 67, oh my God, guys, my, my heart is just pounding right now. And then there's one more right here, I think it's a 40 percenter, a 67, all right. And I don't see anything else in that roll. When I did the sound test, I just realized I was looking at all of these while I was doing a sound test. They're all from 71 and 72. So these have been sitting in someone's closet or basement for years, and I just got lucky to get this collection dump. Anyway, let's get on to the second roll here. We have three silvers in the first roll. And this, this isn't even the good rolls. I'm sorry if I'm sounding weird. I'm really, I'm really trying hard to commentate well, but I'm just super excited. Okay, there's another 67. Let's do the edge check real quick. Oh boy. Oh my God, I am freaking out right now. I see a huge silver sandwich right now. Another 67. Honestly, I should be wearing gloves right now, but okay. Franklin, 1960. It's a little bit dirty, but who cares, right? I mean, it really doesn't matter. And then we got one more here. Another 64. Wow. This might be the biggest hunt. This, this is the biggest hunt by far I've ever had. Another 67. Let's go check those edges again real quick. Man, almost like half of that roll of silver. Another 67, and these are all in really nice shape too. Okay, 66. Put that right there. I don't see anything more. Check it real quick, I'm gonna do the sound test. Roll number three. I heard some silver. And as I said, I know these rolls have some silver because I did scan the edges earlier. But uh, I'm starting to realize it's just not just one or two silvers. There are multiple silvers in each of these rolls. So someone who deposited these, I'm guessing someone died. 68 right here. I mean, someone must have died because um, I think someone who deposited these just didn't know what their collection was worth. And I'm really sorry this video is super long. I mean, I really want to enjoy this. Let's move the camera a little bit so you can see what we're finding so far. Um, got another 68 right there. And then we got another, oh my God, another 64. Wow, that is a really nice 67. I feel like my commentating skills are really terrible right now and I really do apologize. And I don't know how many times I said that already, but I'm just kind of in a panic right now. I mean, in my hometown, you never find stuff like this. Cause I live in California and lots of people do this where I live. Another 67, wow, we're really that stack is really growing right there. And then let me do the sound test real quick. And uh, as you can see here, these are all from the 70s. The ones which are not silver are all from the 70s. So these have been sitting in someone's basement for a very long time or someone's closet. I really don't want this to end, but uh, let's see how much more we can get. 
Oh my God, the roll is falling apart in my hands. I'm already seeing a bright one. Trying to do this on the tripod is very difficult. This might be 90 right here. Is it 90? Oh my God, it's falling apart in my hand. Oh my God, it's a 90. Denver. You guys don't know how much I'm panicking right now. Like we might hit over a grand in silver here. That's a 68. Another 68. When I go to college, I won't be able to do this anymore. So this is like a really good, like grand slam right before I go to college. Another 67. Let's see what else we got here. Looks like we have two more. A 68 and a 67. All right. And I think that's it. Next roll, people. Oh my God. I see one. I'm trying to put it next to the camera. One, two, three, four, five, five silvers in this roll. Another 67. So the oldest coin I've seen in these rolls is a bicentennial, which is crazy to hear. So, you know, this roll or these rolls is kind of like a dip in the past of what you would find back in 19, back in 1960 or back in 1976. I mean, this is what a coin roll would look like. Okay, so we got a 65. I'm gonna just push that right here. I have some bicentennials the person had, the loose halves. So I'm just gonna get rid of those to make room here. So how many more do we have in here? I think we have two more in here. So we got a 68 and a 67. Man, this 67 roll or stack is getting really big. And uh, I think that's it. Okay, we're down to the final hybrid roll. And uh, I'm hoping we find a little bit more here. It's not coming out. Okay, there we go. There's one more half dollar in there. And uh, let me just move the camera so I can film a little bit better. All right, so I'm seeing four right now. So we got a 68. Sorry, I'm not showing a stack of silver right here. I just, it's getting too much in the way. We got a 64. And I thought after Wenatchee, that big score, I had the big 90% or score. I thought like uh, I was gonna be numb to silver forever. Oh my God, another 64. This is completely insane right now. And a 69. And I think that's it. So now we're up to the 90% of rolls. And before we get looking, um, just gonna let you guys know, I'll be looking for the key dates. And uh, if this is like an untouched collection for the last like God knows how many years, we might actually find one of these key dates. I mean, that'd be insane if we found a key date. I mean, I already found that Barbara half, but you know, it could just keep getting better and better. So here we go, I already see a walker. I see multiple walkers, oh my God. <sighs> Sorry if this video is so long, I'm just trying to, uh, Enjoy this. So we got 62. We're not we're not gonna have enough room in the placemat. I mean, this is insane. I would never 
think that day would happen when I don't have enough room on the placemat. So I'm just moving everything over. And we might just have to sort these by decades. I mean, let's see what we got here. 57, 57, they are Denver. I don't think it matters though. 44 Walker. 44 plane. Two more Benjis. I'm just gonna combine all, all the 60 Benjis together because we're running out of room. 62. 63. 54. And I think we're looking for the 54S as it says on the placemat. It's a Denver. That's all right, it's still 90% silver, so I'm not gonna complain about it, honestly. 61. 54, Denver. It's all right, oh my God, I'm dropping things right now. I am just ecstatic and nervous. A 51, I don't think there's a key date for that, but that's a 51S. I actually see these, I've seen a couple of these in bank rolls before. And they're always really worn. And there's another walker right here. 43 plain. 63. 62. Another 63. Guys, if you see random cuts in this video, it's because I'm probably stuttering like crazy right now. And that's just the worst stuttering. I'm gonna try and keep this as complete as possible. 51S, those 51S's are really worn. 54, please give us a San Francisco, no, it's a Denver. And two, or a 59 and a 58. And we're looking at a Denver and a Denver. All right. We have eight more rolls to go. I mean, this is crazy. I see another walker. I see two walk, I, I see multiple walkers. Are you kidding me? 45, Denver. I don't think th those are key dates, but 45, S. Nice to see an S mint mark once in a while. 42, S. A 45 Denver. I think those are all the walkers. Oh, here's a really slick Benji. A 49. That's a key date. 49S. I mean, it's in beat up condition and there's some junk on it, but that is a key date. We got a 1950 here, Denver. We got another 49 here, S. And this is actually a better one. It's no gunk on it, it's clean. Or it's not clean, but it, you know, the coin doesn't have any like scratches or anything on it for the most part. That's a good find. I'm just gonna put my key dates on the top. I mean, we're, we're really running out of room right now. 63, Denver, that doesn't really matter. Uh, 60. I don't think there's any key dates in, this, in the 60s, but they're still 90% silver, so. 59, Denver. 60. 59, Denver. <sighs> See another 51, Denver. Oh, here's a really nice Franklin, a 63, Denver. And what I'm curious about right now is why they're all Franklins and Walkers. I mean, in these 90% rolls, we haven't seen any 64 candies. And I just find that kind of strange. Because if they were hoarding silver during um, the Coinage Act of 1965, I mean, 
there would have been a lot of 64s. And not a lot of Franklins and Walkers, in my opinion. 62. So this might be a really old collection. I mean... <sighs> three more. 62. 62 and 60. All right. Our stack of 60s is getting quite big, so I'm gonna put that on the side. And guys, we have seven more rolls and we got a walker ender right here. I mean, I don't know who in their right mind would deposit this. I mean, there's a coin shop just like 10 minutes from this bank and they could have gotten 10 times the amount of money for these half dollars. I'm seeing a couple walkers, or a couple more walkers. It's a walker right here. Plain date, 42, 45, Denver, 50, D, 52, and we're looking for the 52S right now. Oh my God, we got a key date. I mean, it's pretty worn, but you know, key dates are key dates, right? And this might be a proof. Or it might be cleaned. This might be a proof. I'm just gonna keep it on the side. 57. 52, we're looking for the S, as I said earlier. It's a D. But who really cares at this point? 54, D. A 49, that's gonna be a key date no matter what. S mint mark. If you didn't hear me earlier, I live in California. So if you guys don't live in California, um, uh, Southern California is very, very competitive for silver. I mean, there's a lot of hunters here. You, you run into big dumps all the time. So a score like this is amazing. 44D. 51S. 61. 63. Oh, I see another walker right here. Two walkers. Okay, I think this is the walker we saw earlier. There's some punch marks in it unfortunately, but it's still a walker, 44D. I mean, look at how many walkers we've accumulated so far. Crazy. 44, or 42, my bad, plain date. No key dates for the walkers yet, but who cares? 60, and then we got 51, 52, is that an S? That is an S, that's a key date. And a 61, all right. More older coins in that roll, not gonna lie. And we got six more rolls right now. I mean, what if we found a barber? If we found a barber, that'd be insane. I'm seeing a lot of walkers again. I. Uh, my heart is just going crazy right now. I mean, I'm going like, I feel like I'm gonna have a heart attack right now. I mean, it's really bad. I mean, it's 2019 people. I mean, 44D. So they're on the 40s, but um, maybe we'll get lucky. Another 44D. Any more walkers in here? Two more walkers, I think. Yeah, two more walkers. A 43 plain date and a 43 plain date. A 52, so we're looking for the 52S, as I said earlier. It's a D. 61 right here. I think it's been cleaned. 51 S in better condition. 
then the other 51s s then the other 51 s's we've, we've been seeing another 51 here's a more slick one s mint mark a lot of 51 s's i mean i live in california so that would make sense but weird 54 d so that's not a key day unfortunately a 57 there's no key date for that 62 1960 got some more right here oh my god guys i'm i was just gonna play halo tonight and i thought you know from 150 dollars i might get 140 percent or in this is what happened and uh, I'm just speechless right now. I'm gonna try and go a little bit quicker now because I'm looking at the camera and the same we've been recording for 25 minutes. So I wanna make this video under 40 minutes if possible. This might be cleaned, I don't know. Who really cares at this point, honestly? I see another walker. Jeez, I, I I don't know what's going on, guys. I'm like, I might cry, guys. Like, this is 41S. I mean, who would cry over coins, but like, this is a lot of silver, and it's at the points like, should I just cash this in for like a drape bust half dollar? I mean, maybe, oh, <laughs> a Kennedy. We haven't seen those in a while. What the, that's a, a weird sight. But I see another walker here, 46, S mint mark. Let me know down in the comments, should I cash this in for a really nice bust half or even a flowing hair? Because this is so much silver at the point where I could probably cash in all of this for like a flowing hair or a drape bus in you know VF condition. More Benjis. I'm looking for those walkers, man. I don't see any walkers here. 54, Denver. Like, look at this, guys. There's so much silver. I mean, it's crazy. It's blowing my mind right now. 52 and a 54, so we're looking for the S mint marks here. Thank God I live in California. There's a higher probability for the S mint mark. There's no S mint mark here, but who's counting, right? 60, 63, and a 63, 59, and a 63. And uh, let me tell you guys real quick. Um, I just went here just on a whim and because my mom was next door getting Starbucks and um, they told me they were gonna send these out to the treasury tomorrow. They send them out every Friday, I think. And today's Thursday. And I was just so lucky to catch this and I'm so lucky they didn't snipe this silver, I mean. <sighs> Another candy. Wow. Second candy. Weird. We're finding more walkers in these rolls and candies. I mean, who would have thought? 59. And a 54. This one looks pretty nice. 54. Please be an S. It's a plain date. But who cares? You got four more rolls. Come on. I see a couple walkers. One walker. Two walkers. Is that it? I think that's it. 46, a little bit beat up, but S mint mark. Pretty good detail on it. And a 41, plain date. This one's a little bit more slick. And we got more Benjis. 
54 and a 53. Oh wait, those have key dates. The 54 has a key date. Nope, it's not the San Francisco. <sighs> Benji, Benji. I don't know why I'm even stacking these. There's too many on the, oh, another Walker, 42 point date. I'm just gonna try and make this video faster. 54, Denver, and Denver. Okay, so I'm gonna just brush those to the side, just make this quicker. 51, D, I think, yep. 50, there's no key date for that. Why am I checking? We need to go through these quicker. Denver, 62, 62, 62, 60. Sorry that the camera's moving a little bit, the tripod's a little bit unsteady. 61, I'm hitting it a little bit while I'm brushing these to the side, trying to make this a little bit quicker. 59, 54, and a 63. 54 what, Denver, okay, so no key date. We're down to two rolls, I think, now. Okay. No, we're down to yeah, two more rolls after this. So we're getting to the end of it, but two more walkers. Um, this is a 42 plane. This is a 44 Denver. Oh my God, guys, my heart is hurting. I might want to go to the hospital, honestly. Can you die from good shock? I mean, honestly. I'm running out of room, I can't stack these anymore. 54 Denver. 59 Denver. I mean, it feels like I'm living in the 50s right now. It really does. 61, 62. Another Walker, 47, last date. Denver, that's cool. 63, 57, 63, 51, 63. Oh, a Kennedy, wow. 64, another Walker right here. 41, Denver. 52, looking for the S. Oh, we got an estimate mark. Look at that. Estimate mark, 1952, and not in bad shape either. That is a good find. 63, 63, and then we got another 52. Another estimate mark. Wow. We got two more rolls to go. There are walkers everywhere. 42, 42 what? 42, plane date. 44, S. My stack of walkers is about to fall. Um, 43. 53. Oh, the 53 is a key date. Oh, not the 50. The 53 plane's a key date. This is an S, unfortunately. And I see more walkers here. I see two more. Oh, wow, that, oh, that is slick. That is slick. 41 and a 42, plane date and plane date. I mean, why do I even corner roll hunt, guys? I mean, this is way more than what I found over like like 80 boxes. I mean, why do I even try when you can get this out of customer rolled? 62, 62, and then we got a 52 looking for the S. Nope, it's a D mint mark. I just burped, I'm so sorry. 58 and 57, I'm trying to go through these quicker. 51, 63, 57, Got a 52 here, looking for the S. We got the S mint mark, let's go boys. Um, 
54. Please be an S. It's a D. And this is an S. We got another key date. I don't know how key these are. I need to look in the book later. I actually have a book right here. Um, the red book. And we're down to one roll. One last roll. And uh, I don't know if I told you guys. So I went back earlier after I saw the Ben Franklin. I don't know if I said this earlier. I might be repeating myself. I asked if the guy deposited anything else and they said no, um, unfortunately. I mean, imagine if he deposited quarters and dimes too. I'm sure he has some. Maybe he just hasn't deposited them yet. <sighs> Estimate mark here, boys. Or no, it's a D, my bad. We got another walker. Another walker, 43. Plain date. And these are just generic ones. Oh man. This is... Wow, I can't even. There's an S mint mark. Let me get the loop real quick and I'll try and find out. Or maybe I can do the loop on camera. But this looks really worn. I might not be able to get a date off of this. I'm gonna try here. I don't know if you guys can. Am I using the wrong side? I am using the wrong side. I am panicking right now. Um. I mean, I'm seeing a nine and a nine and a, I don't know what that is, a one maybe? I think it might be a two. It's a two or a one, I think. Um, man, that date is just worn off. I just checked the red book. If it's a 19 or 1929, they both have premiums on them. And I, I think it's a 19. I honestly can't tell. It's just worn to the point. I mean, look at that edge. There is no read left on that edge. I, I honestly can't tell, guys. We gotta move on. Um. 61, 59, that's probably poop. Um, 63, 51, 62, another candy. Jeez, those candies are slim pickings here. 62, 59, another walker, 41, 61. 54 D and then that's it so those are all the rolls let me get back to you guys real quick just give me one second all right guys so we're back and here's the carnage there's a lot of silver here and I'm thinking at the price of silver right now price of silver right now is $17 an ounce and uh, I think, I haven't done an actual calculation. I, I'm just gonna put this away right now because I'm kind of actually gonna get a heart attack right now, but I think it's one grand of silver, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's a grand. I think it actually be, it might be a little bit more because I think for a roll of silver right now, it's about $128. So if you multiply that by nine and a half, we'll just multiply it by nine and a half. Um, because we've got some 40 percenters here too. Um, you know what, we'll multiply it by 10. So 10 times 128, that's $1,280. And then we, we got subtract like $100 because of the amount I paid for them. So we made $1,180 and that is mind boggling. I mean, if you look in the red book, I could buy, let's see for the half dollars, I could buy um, let's see what we got here. Um, I could buy a flowing hair in good condition, maybe a VF or a VG if I kind of stretched it. And uh, 
we can even buy a, a, a drape bus in VF plus condition. I mean, wow. I'm still recovering from shock right now. Guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. I'm really in shock right now, guys. Like, I can't, I can't think straight. But uh, just so you guys know, these scores are still up here in these banks. They're far and few, but if you guys really put in the work or just get lucky, I mean, it's, it's out there. there. It's out there. I don't know for how much longer it's gonna be out there with more and more hunters coming in, but um, I really hope you guys enjoy this video. If you guys have any further questions, I don't know what you would have a question about, but if you have any further questions, you can ask me in the comments. <sighs> Talk to you guys later. I'm gonna go and edit this right now. Actually, I'm gonna eat dinner right now because I, I really need a break right now. And uh, uh, yeah, talk to you guys later. Peace out, everybody. <laughs>